Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, guys, wherever you are on this beautiful world. Whenever you're watching this video, welcome to the Bitcoin family channel. For the newcomers, my name is Didi. Today, working with a new setup, I gave myself an early Christmas present, an Osmo DJI Pocket 3, a new DJI wireless, beautiful, like, microphone set. Let's see how this works. In today's video, of course, talking about the Bitcoin charts. I have four amazing charts. I have an amazing trading dip. I can move, and the camera will be still following my face. Beautiful new professional setup, Didi. Yes, amazing. <laughs> of course, the travel tip, and yes, also talking about the news uh, because something really strange happening now again to Binance and to one of their main influencers, the most followers worldwide, guys. And yes, also, of course, some live advice and some beautiful music on the background. I don't know what it is, maybe some kind of a festival. And um, let's quickly jump in the charts to see what is happening to Bitcoin. Bam. Today, guys, we are going to start with the first chart. The first chart is a weekly chart. Every candle is a week. And on the weekly chart, we can see that we are creating higher highs, higher lows, again, a higher high. And we are waiting for a new higher low. But the thing that I also want to point out on this weekly chart is that we will soon see a gold on the cross. When that green line is going to cross above that red line, possibly going to happen around the 25th of December, so somewhere around Christmas, that will be a golden cross. And that's a very bullish movement on the weekly chart. Of course, they are always lagging behind a little bit, but even during the last bearish cross, guys, the weekly chart kept moving up. So if we see a golden cross now, I believe we could push way more higher in this Bitcoin price, and we will reach those levels beautifully around 40K and 45K, maybe even, guys. Beautiful thing on the weekly chart. Let's jump into the next chart, guys. This is the zoomed out chart, guys. Yes, every candle is a month and we can see that every time when all the green EMAs crossed the red EMAs to the upside it's a bullish move everywhere on the every time on the chart when you see this yellow circle you can see these green EMAs crossing above the red EMAs and that's the start of that massive bull market look in 2015 17 what happened Look in 2019, 21 what happened and look what is happening now at the moment in 2023 those green EMA lines went down below the red lines and now are all crossing above those red EMA lines, which means bull market is started. Can we still see a pullback? Of course. Look what happened there to, between 2019 and 21 during that COVID crash. There was a body going into these red lines of the EMA. But those green EMA lines never went down below the red ones anymore. So very important. If this green cross above the red and stay above the red, we will see a massive bull market again, guys. Beautiful chart, found it on Twitter. This one is also very interesting, the Bitcoin halving rallies. You can see the beautiful rallies before the halving and after the halving. 2012 to the 2013, 14 halving, guys, 5.7 times, and after the halving, 93.1 times. In 2015, to the halving in 2016, it went 3.4 times. And after the halving in 2016, it went 30 times, all the way up to the beautiful 20K. You all remember that. Then again, in 2019 to 2022, that market, in 2022 was the halving. To the halving from 2009 to 2020 was times 2.7. And after the halving, times 7.8. Now, let's say that at the moment, we will end around the halving at $35,400. That means that's 2.3 times the bottom. And if we then, after the halving, go times 4.2, for example, that would mean we would end up somewhere at 147,843. And it could take all the way to 480 days. So do your calculation. If the halving will be in April, it could take another one and a half year before we see that top, which could mean somewhere in the second part of 2025, guys. Beautiful chart. Yes, not too bullish, but still 140K. Beautiful numbers for me, if you ask me. Now, then we have this chart. In the last video, I talked about the Bollinger Bands compressing. And every time when these Bollinger Bands compress, we can see these huge moves in Bitcoin. Now, on the bottom part of this chart, you can see every time what happened. So from the compressed Bollinger chart, that means that blue line is around the bottom, we had four of the five times a very bullish move. One time was a bearish move. 
Now, again, that blue line on the bottom of the chart is nearing the zero level, which means those Bollinger Bands are starting to compress and they will go sideways for a little bit and then you have full compression mode. And from that moment again, there will be a huge breakout, just like I said yesterday. I still believe that breakout again will be a positive breakout to the upside. So I believe that the breakout will go somewhere to 45 to 48K. But again, there was also one bearish breakout. So that could happen as well. We could already see the dip that everyone is expecting before that breakout. Let's just keep an eye on the charts and I will keep talking about this every day. And then I have another thing that is not a chart, but it's just a small part of education because I've been talking about candlesticks the whole week and I did, get, I did receive a direct message. Can you please explain what a candlestick pattern exactly means? What, what it exactly means, these candlesticks? And after that, I will go into the next trading tip. But to be very clear, every candlestick is built out of a wick and a body. And the wicks are the thin lines on the top and on the bottom, and the body is that beautiful area in the middle. Now, the top of the wick, that is the highest price. The top of the body, that is the open price. The bottom of the body, that is the close price. And the bottom of the wick, that's the lowest price. That, and that counts for bullish and for bearish candles. So, just very simple. Every candle is built out of wicks and of a body. I hope you really enjoy these charts. I really like to play around with this camera because look, it does everything I want. If I go down, it will go down. If I go up, it will go up. It's like I have a professional camera man now, guys. Uh, hopefully the quality of the image is also okay, but I hope you really enjoy the charts, guys. Yes, the charts showing us again how beautifully we are now positioning before that halving in April 2024 and what the result will be of that halving in April 2024. I really believe, guys, we're going to see a massive explosion in the Bitcoin price again, just like like we saw before and if that really would be times 4.2 we would really end somewhere around 140k per bitcoin that's the double of previous all-time high that's an amazing result if you're asking me it's really strange to see this new small little tiny camera without having a beautiful iphone and trusting the quality would be good right, let's see after the edit let's jump into the trading tip Trading tip for today, guys, of course, still talking about uh, the candlestick patterns. I think this whole week will be about candlestick patterns, and I think next week as well, because there is a shitload of candlestick patterns that you really should memorize to understand what they could have for an influence onto the market. Today, we're going to talk about two candlestick patterns. The first one is the hammer. The second one is the hanging man. Why those two? Because they are exactly the opposite from each other. The hammer is a bullish reversal candle, which means if we are going down, and on the bottom on the chart, you can see a hammer, which is a very long wick with a small body, just like a hammer, that is hammering the chart bullish again. So it's hammering the chart up. So if you see a hammer on the bottom, that means, yes, big chance that there will be reversal. The confirmation will be a bullish green candle next to that red hammer or that green hammer, whatever it is on the bottom. But if there is a green bullish candle next to it, that's the confirmation of a hammer and a reversal of the market. A hanging man, that's the one that's like uh, hanging like that, that one is a reversal from a bullish market into a bearish market. So when we are going bullish and on the top, we see again that same candle with a very long wick and a small body, mostly a red wick and a red body, that's a hanging man that's mostly indicating a reversal. Also there, a confirmation of a red bearish candle after that would be the perfect confirmation of a hanging man and yes, a market reversal. So one, we have the hammer, bam, two, we have the uh, hanging man, which is going to go down then again, guys. So two beautiful candlestick patterns that are very handy to memorize because then you have another indication if the market is reversing. Let's jump into the next part. If you want to save as much as possible Bitcoin, guys, the travel tip for today is a very important travel tip because the travel tip is never exchange your fiat currencies on the airport. You know, when you arrive in the airport, you can see all these currency exchange offices over there. Please never exchange your fiat currencies into the local currency at those airport places because you will definitely get robbed. Their commissions are massively. You 
you might end up receiving 10% less than you would receive just outside of the airport. And please understand that all over the world nowadays, yes, even Thailand and other like third world countries that you consider as third world countries, I see as first world countries because I see Europe nowadays as a third world country. But all these countries that you are afraid of, yes, they also accept debit cards. Yes, the Bybit debit card or the crypto.com debit card. Of course, they accept all these debit cards here. And of course, also the bank cards that you're using. So exchanging fiat into the local currency is not that popular anymore. But if you do it, please don't do it at the airport because they will take a shitload of commissions and that will mean that you will have less money to buy bitcoins and i don't want that i want you to be able to buy as much as possible bitcoin of course guys if you by the way want to have a debit card a crypto debit card so that you can spend your bitcoins directly wherever you want then use the links down below i have a beautiful link to the buy the debit card which in my honest opinion at the moment is by far the best one out there the second best one in my honest opinion is the crypto.com debit card also a link down below and the third best at the moment is tap and tap is a registered uk company so also a very safe debit card to use uh, but to be very honest the user interface uh, of Bybit is a little bit more easy than that one of step and you can directly spend all the funds that you hold in your Bybit funding account with your debit card so you don't need to exchange your funds first into a debit card it automatically uses the funds on your Bybit account. So for example, um, if you have UZT or Ethereum or Bitcoin, you can select which currency automatically to use. And whenever you use that debit card worldwide, it automatically uses UZT, Ethereum, Bitcoin, or any other currency that you're selecting. That's why I like the Bybit card. But of course, I've been using now crypto.com also for like almost like five years now, working perfectly as well. And TAP, I've been using it for two years. Even my kids are exploring with that one. Also very beautiful. So these debit cards are very handy as well. And then you don't need to be in line anymore to exchange money at these counters that will take 10% commission of you guys. That was the travel tip for today. Let's jump into the next part. Okay, for this one, this is the question of one of the followers because it kind of follows up to the travel tip. I'm gonna see how far this beautiful camera will be able to track my face. Let's see if I turn around and I go walk over here, it still will keep tracking my face. Is it even cracking the face when I'm like turning my back to it? If it isn't even doing it when I go like this, like all over the place here, does it still track my face? Am I still in the image? Serious? I don't believe that it works. Can I still go down? I don't think they're still tracking my face. So yeah, we need to play around a little bit with it uh, set up to understand how it's working so I can't move too far from it but that was a beautiful check so um, the question for today was of a follower and the question was Didi if I buy for example my bitcoins in the Netherlands and then I move with those bitcoins to Thailand so I just go there to live or on holiday I didn't know exactly what the question was but something like that would I then need to pay tax in Thailand on those bitcoins because I take that capital in bitcoins to Thailand okay it's not a stupid question at all. It's a valid question, but I need to answer this very clearly. So if you are buying Bitcoins in Italy or for example, in the Netherlands and you go to Thailand, what does at that moment happen to your Bitcoins? Nothing. Those Bitcoins stay in your hardware self custodial wallet. So wherever you travel, the Bitcoin is not traveling with you. The Bitcoin stays at the same location in the blockchain and your hardware wallet is the key to access those Bitcoin on that blockchain. Same with your email. If you receive an email while you're in the Netherlands, but you now travel to Thailand, does that email travel with you in your suitcase? Or do you just have access to the same database where you can read your email now in Thailand because you have the username and the password? Bitcoin works exactly the same. So if you should be paying tax in Thailand, my answer is you should never pay tax on your Bitcoins. Why would you pay tax on your Bitcoins if it is capital? Of course, it all depends on where you're registered. We are Portuguese residents. We don't pay tax on our Bitcoin, 0%. If you hold them longer than a year, also in Germany, that's the same rule. In the Netherlands, it's just 1.3 1 or 4% on your capital. So if you're paying the tax in your countries that you need to pay the tax or don't need to pay the tax on, why would you then need to pay tax in Thailand? That's the first thing, if you do it officially. Second, guys, if you're visiting Thailand 
as a tourist, why would you need to pay tax on your bitcoins? You don't pay tax on your bitcoins if you're a tourist. If you become a Thai resident, yes, you need to follow the Thai laws. But still then, we go to point three. Point three is, why would you tell anyone in the world how many bitcoins you have? Keep that to yourself. If you bought your bitcoins completely anonymous, non-KYC, non-regulated, and you're holding them on a self-custodial hardware wallet, Ledger, Bitbox, why would you share then with other people, our authorities, how many bitcoins you have? Nobody will be able to point those bitcoins to you. That's the beauty of the Bitcoin blockchain. You can still stay anonymous. And if you're afraid that people or companies or centralized entities know that you own a certain amount of bitcoins, then you need to use certain mixing services, which is illegal in most parts of the world, but some parts of the world isn't, and then mix up your currencies and then receive these currencies again in a new wallet that nobody knows of, and then they are gone again. You lost them with trading, or you lost them with a boating accident, or whatever happened, they are not in that wallet anymore that they know of. So why would you then tell other new companies or entities or countries that you will have those bitcoins on a certain wallet. I am not against paying tax, let me be very honest, but I am against paying tax on my capital. I pay tax on everything that I spend daily. When I die, I need to pay tax again. If I give and donate money to my children, if I have an income, I need to pay tax. I need to pay tax on so many things, I'm not going to pay tax on my capital. Why would you need to tax my capital if they already tax me on everything else in my life? So I think completely different about the tax system, but that's not why I don't pay tax on Bitcoin. I don't pay tax on Bitcoin because I'm registered at a Portuguese resident and the tax percentage there is zero. So to keep the video a little bit short, if you travel with your Bitcoins from any country to another country, you don't need to pay tax on those Bitcoins because the Bitcoins that move, they stay in your same wallet. If you become a resident in a new country, different rules, you need to adapt to the tax rules of that country. And three, if you partly want to adapt to the rules of that tax country, then yes, only do your income as a tax, but don't tell them what your capital is in those beautiful cryptocurrencies called Bitcoin and maybe any others. Now, that was the answer to the question. If you understood it, then give it a thumbs up. If you didn't understand it, then give it another thumbs down, then leave another question down below, guys. Let's jump into the next part, the news. Sadly, guys, for this news, I don't have a own football pitch anymore. I don't have this football field anymore. So now we have a smaller house without a football pitch. But now I have a beautiful camera that is tracking my face and I can walk up and down the stairs and it's still filming me so beautifully. But for this news, guys, I should have had a football pitch because Cristiano Ronaldo is being sued for having supported Binance in the last couple of years. And there were a couple of NFTs that Ronaldo launched uh, using Binance. But now the SEC is saying, nah, we are going to sue Ronaldo because he was not just promoting his NFTs. He was promoting Binance in the whole. And probably most of those people didn't go to Binance to buy his NFT, but to trade securities. And that is illegal to promote that in the United States. So Cristiano Ronaldo is being sued to having done that. Yes, Binance is really going through a very tough time. First CZ leaving with a huge lawsuit. Now, of course, Cristiano Ronaldo having issues because of working together with Binance. I think the United States really wants to get rid of Binance because it's just the biggest player out there and that can't be a non-United States company. Only Coinbase will be allowed to be the biggest company when it comes to Bitcoin in the United States because that's a United States company. So Coinbase needs to win and Binance needs to go down because it's not United States and the United States don't like all these other countries having bigger companies than themselves. So that's why all these things are happening now to Binance. It's not about CZ, it's not about Binance, it's about Binance not being a US company. And they don't want Binance in this country as a competition to Coinbase, especially not when they will start to approve the spot ETF, because then Coinbase is the only one which is the custodial service for those spot ETFs. And then we can't have any competition of Binance, that huge player that drove adoption all over the world into Bitcoin. No. That is not allowed in the United States. The United States is turning into this small China where only United States company can be successful and the rest of the world needs to be banned. And that is also why the dollar is going to go down, 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 down
<laughs> and probably, yes, going to disappear from the market and be replaced by Bitcoin or any other decentralized currencies because I can't believe the United States people will keep accepting all these retarded rules made by most of those retarded puppets. Really, when I look at your government nowadays, I see Yellen, I see Gensler, I see Biden. I really sometimes believe these are those three grumpy people from the Muppet Show. Or what are only two people? Two people with a little grumpy brother. That's like the Muppet Show now in the United States. Sorry for that, uh, guys, uh, United States followers, but I can't express it different than that. Now, that was the news for the day. So, Cristiano Ronaldo, uh, good luck. Let's see when Messi will get a lawsuit because of promoting BitGet. Yes, they are going after the exchanges. So, always remember, be prepared anticipate already sign up to a couple of decentralized exchanges as well if you want to keep trading and the best decentralized exchange i will repeat it every time again and again and again is apex pro the link is down below go there and find out the beautiful bonus i have there for you maybe a special christmas bonus even on the apex pro yes i'm also working on a new beautiful marketing campaign for bybit so soon you will be able to get some extras if you sign up using my bybit link now that was the news for the day let's jump into the last part The last part, guys, is the inspirational part. Yes, and sorry for me walking around all the way everywhere, but I just want to test this camera and the setup and the sound and everything else, guys. The inspirational part for today is a very important one. There is like three words that will sum up everything I learned in the last 45 years of living and especially in the last seven, almost eight years of traveling. I learned a lot of valuable lessons, but I can sum them all up in three words. And those three words are, life goes on. Whatever happens to you, whatever happened to me, life went on. Life keeps going on. Every morning when you wake up, you breathe. Life goes on. You look next to you and you see your wife next to you. She's breathing. Her life goes on. And you see your kids getting up, maybe a little bit later because they're pubers. Life goes on. Whatever happened, when my parents died, I needed to continue. Life went on. When I succeeded with my companies or had failures with my companies, life goes on. Whatever happened in my life to me or my family members, life goes on. So if you know for a fact that life always goes on, why then would you still be worrying about all the steps that you take in your life? Why do you let so many thoughts blocking you from what you really want to do? If you know, whatever the outcome might be, life will go on. It doesn't matter. Whatever you do, life will go on. No, wait, don't jump without a parachute or out of an airplane. Don't jump out of a skyscraper without like a parachute. That's like life won't go on. You will die. Life will then only continue for like 10, 20, 30 seconds till you crash to the ground probably, but you do understand what I mean. If you keep it to normal things, and yes, take some risk now and then, then yes, it could go wrong. It could be a failure. An investment could also be a failure, but life will continue. Whatever happens to all the materialistic stuff in the world that you own, if it disappears in one second, you still will be able to breathe. You still will be able to eat. You still will be able to make love to your beautiful wife. Yes, the love isn't made by that Rolex or that fancy jacket or that Lamborghini or all the other equipment and materialistic stuff that you have. The love is made by you. So whatever happens in life, life goes on. And that's the three words that in my honest opinion, very shortly sum up all the things that I experienced and have learned in the last 45 years of my life that life kept continuing whatever happened it will always continue and that's why the quote for the day is life goes on don't worry too much don't stress too much whatever might happen you will be able to continue life as long you make sure you breathe you drink you eat and have a lot of jiggy jiggy sex with your wife life will keep going on and if you don't have a wife come to thailand there is a lot of Thai wives that want to make you very happy, 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 long time. 
Now, that was everything for today, guys. I hope you really enjoyed this uh, video. If you did enjoy the new camera setup with this beautiful Osmo DJI Pro, let me know. Uh, if you don't like it because I'm moving too much and the camera is doing this, also let me know. Leave a comment down below. But please, if you did enjoy the video, give the video a thumbs up. Share it with your friends and family. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell. Leave a comment and let me know what you think about the charts and everything else. Thanks for watching and see you tomorrow again on a beautiful Friday. Bam.